Hey nerds! I'm Jasmine. I'm Cheyenne. And I'm Camille. And we're, we're pretty, pretty run and dirty. dirty. And we're at BlurredCon right now. First year. Of First Blurred year Con. of BlurredCon. Alright, well we made it here to BlurredCon y'all. Getting our badges, so we're excited! So we just experienced maybe the greatest con ever and we wanted to talk to y'all a little bit about it. So BlurredCon is a three-day convention um, in Washington, D.C. in our nation's capital that literally is focused on Blurred. Black Nerd Con, that's what it is. And so we were invited as guests to, you know, do our panels and all kinds of stuff and we've had a great time. So why don't we tell y'all a little bit about it? I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, everything was so new since this is the first year of con, you don't have any previous experience with it. So, you know, when we first got here, we got settled in, you know, and things were kind of, you know, just up in the air at first, but then later on at night, we had we got our, into the groove of things. We got into the groove of things. So. Yeah, so we had three panels over the school weekend. Friday, we kicked off the con with Otaku Turnip to kind of get people ready and hyped for the con. in the uh, Artist Alley slash Dealer Hall and we had music, we had a DJ, shout out to Chris. Shout, shout out, out Chris. Chris. Hey. Yeah, he held it down yeah. for us. We had a great DJ and people really, really, really got got hyped. I mean, yeah, it was you know when black folk get together and there's music, Honestly, like though. people were just... <laughs> Right here. We will put his link in the description bar, yes. so if y'all are looking for a great DJ, you know, the area, hit, up, okay? hit, him, hit him up, Yes. <laughs> off with Otaku turn up then we had you know uh, some downtime yeah and then we went into our first an hour or two and then we went into our first our next panel which was nerd talk, nerd talk. and Things got so boy, heated in, yeah. in that panel I our swear team. like it, it was a good time we weren't expecting that turnout the room was packed everybody was laughing like we had roast like people were standing up and they were like boy we like, did it you it guys, great. you guys like, came for me when I said that Bruce Wayne was a better father than Superman. I, I, I mean, I mean, swear. Superman was a better father than Bruce Wayne. And then like, somebody stood up and was like, "I'm gonna roast Charles Xavier, so let's go." Like, it, Professor like, X, it, it got so and I was just like, hyped yes, that like, we had hello. to literally spend like three minutes trying to calm people calm down because it just got. That was so such. Good it was like really good energy, though. It, like, was. it was really good like, energy. I it was really good conversation. There was panels on panels on panels. There was all types of panels. There was kink panels. There was fan fiction panels. There was Writers panels, there's like how to cosplay panels, there's there like something for na navigating through diversity, um, you know, how to start a nonprofit. There was all different types of panels, and we were just like, damn, like, so there's all types of cosplayers who are like big in, in the whole like cosplay game or whatever. But when you see black cosplayers who are out here like doing it, we're just like, yes, like, this is all we want in our nerd community. Yeah. All the um, artist alley and the you know, stuff down there, there was a lots of black artists black comic writers, like all kinds of fabricators and things like that. The uh, artist alley is really pretty nice and so we are just like, yes, like this is, there's something happening here. Yeah. yeah, before that we went to the cosplay contest oh, for yeah. a short amount of time and it was lit. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you. 
It was like, so late. That, that Power Rangers so group. The like, soundtrack versus oh, oh, yeah. Power Rangers group was really good too. Yeah, yeah there was, great. you know, some of the cosplay guests were cosplay judges and there was an MC that was awesome and we were just like, okay, cool. Yeah. Like, this is, and that led into our third panel, mm -hmm. our final panel, which was the Nerd Confessional and y'all. <laughs> This, you know, in our way, we think that there should be a voice for them. And someone said, write that. So she asked me to do this, and in my teenage head, I'm like, this is our journey. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought, hey, you know, I'm gonna be a mangaka one day, Dr. Bayo, you know what I'm saying? And I decided to write my own anime. <clears throat> now, this was. Jesus. Okay, this was in 2004. Wow. Way, way back. Uh, this was published in 2004. It got zero reviews. I'm not surprised. <laughs> it was Liddy. It was, <laughs> it was Liddy. Like, literally, we weren't expecting a lot of people to show up because it was also during the cosplay during contest. The cosplay contest. So we were kind of nervous. We were like, okay, if like 10 people show, that's fine. But y'all showed out. Room like, was packed. Mm -mm. We were like, not. People love the costume contest to come see like, us. Yes. And so we appreciate y'all. Yeah. Thank you. We appreciate so, it. Oh my gosh. Yeah, overall, I would say this first year it was, was nice. good. There are some things good. that could be worked out, but of course, you know, all first year cons have their. Um, yeah, have their ups and downs. But yeah, yeah ups like downs. I've been to cons that are like five, ten years deep. And, and they're, they're still kind of like teetering like, around. But so. they have a really good setup. And so I think that this con has great potential to be something really amazing in yeah. the future. Yeah, and so. we hope to continue to be a part of it because this is like the kind of thing that we want to be doing. Yeah. And we yeah. want to be here. It's so. great to go to a con where you feel like you belong. Yeah, you know? this was a family reunion and as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, like, like just seeing others that are similar to you and like seeing people being represented, you know, like it just really felt positive. It was really positive for me and my experience was nice. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah I read it a four out of ten. Four and five. Four out of ten. <laughs> Four out of five, yeah, and guys, like for a first year con, that's like you know that's up there. So. Yeah, yeah. So we're expecting a five five by next year. Yeah, like, by next year it's gonna be lit. Like, yeah, right? and they're already con. yeah they're already supposed to be um, trying to sell tickets like ASAP again for next year. Right I'm now, just so. ready. Like, put yeah. us. What do we need to do? Like, let us yep. know. We'll put something together, some events together. Like, yep. we we we're ready to come back. back. <laughs> yeah, so basically, if this kind of con appeals to you, you need to be here next year. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. figure it out, y'all. Like, learn con. If you're spending money to go to, you know, Anime Expo, KatsuCon, all these different cons and stuff like that, like, come support this. Like, support this movement because this is the kind of thing that we really need to see moving forward. You yep. know, because what else? What else? Is is like this exactly. happening anywhere right now. Exactly. So it, did y'all, whoever went to BlurredCon, did you enjoy yes. the convention? shout out, leave a comment leave if you went to BlurredCon, if you plan on coming to BlurredCon, like you want to know what it's about, check out the website, like yeah. All those links will be in the description and if you guys want to see us again at BlurredCon, you know, you know, you know, blast them on social to. media. <laughs> so yeah, we just had a great time and we are going to head out really soon, so, so we'll see y'all. Yeah, well thank you BlurredCon. Like, we awesome. love you. For like, my heart. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>